Are you ready? Looks like it ran for something. Okay. Sit. Sit. Good job. Thank you. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm Coach Simon. I'm Coach Cole. That's the player over there. Welcome back to another outfit workout. Uh, we're about to do a 40 minute one weight workout. And so in today's workout, you're only going to need one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Uh, looking at the movements, yeah, they're both pretty similar. So whichever is most convenient or easiest for you. Um, we have different kinds of upload, uh, different kinds of workout videos on the on the channel here. So we have 40 minute one weight workouts. We have 20 minute body weight workouts. And then we also have 10 minute core workouts. So uh, do us a favor, go ahead and like this video and then go ahead and subscribe. We upload multiple workouts every week so you'll get those notifications. Uh, we're about to hop into this workout, but before we do, I just want to mention one more thing. Um, you're going to notice that both Coach Cole and myself are inside. We're going to be doing a workout indoors and we're not wearing masks. And we're only doing it for the purpose of this workout video. Anytime that we're indoors, working out or not, we're always wearing masks. You should be as well. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. The end is in sight, but we still have to stay really vigilant. Um, staying safe is a team sport, so we all need to do our part. Um, so hopefully, please, please, please always wear your masks. And with that being said, like I said, we got a 40 minute workout coming up. Coach Poole is going to get us started with the warm up. I would like to get some high kicks going today to start. Um, we'll add an arm circle in please to each of them. So my right arm is going to start overhead. Get a nice big circle. Kick my left leg nice and high to get that in hand. We'll go five on the left side. Five on the right side. Stretching out that hamstring a bit. See if we're feeling sore today. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay. The left hand, right leg thing. <laughs> Adding the swing in is messing with, with my head. The swing, and then the Two touch. Two birds one stone. The swing, and then the touch. All right, I'm getting yeah, it now. Yes. Ten total. Besides that, I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling, Coach? I'm pretty sore today, actually. You're pretty sore from what? Um, I did a lot of mental slams the other day, and they just did me in, I think. <clears throat> Once you finish ten, make some space in front of you. We're gonna go hands on the floor. Walking it out through a nice big high plank. I'll hit a push up from my feet or my knees. Walking it back into the feet. Rolling the spine on up. We'll hit five inch ribs here. Some of you may notice that I do inch ribs almost every day we warm up because I love them because they're a great warm up. They do a lot of things. Making sure we stand all the way up each time. Just give that back some time to roll on out. Once you hit uh, your fifth rep, we'll come on the floor to hands and knees for the day. Give me a second to get down here. We're going to spin in a circle. Pretty simple. We're going to do this on all fours. What I would like, from our hands and knees, sticking my toes on the floor, to lift my knees up just about an inch and keep them floating right above the ground. I'm going to try and spin all the way around one way. And once I hit the center, I'm going to try and spin all the way around the other way. Again, the closer those knees are to the floor, the more engaged we're going to have here. Do our quad, these hip flexors. Nice little warm up. Spin it around. Why not? Once we've done so, we're going to fall nice and flat. Hands to a T. We're going to hit 10 scorpion rolls. Left foot, cross the body towards the right hand. Nice quick tap. Move right on to the other side. Left, right. Left, right. Once we get our 10, we can hop up to the feet. Let me just say one thing. What's up? This is our ninth video. Yes. The first time we did those, yeah. I cramped every time on every side. Is it better now? And this is the first time I didn't get one cramp. See, you do something over and over again, you get better at it. There you go. Uh, so. We're going to do some squatting today, so let's get a few air squats. Let's go for a good 10. Uh, feet about hip width, maybe a little farther, toes out, down to the bottom, up to the top. Just slow, just warming up, that's all. Some of us, the first air squats, are going to see how open our hips feel for the day. For others, we're going to see how our knees are doing for that day. I'm going to see how my knees are doing every day at the beginning. 
After those air squats, quick 30 jumping jacks, feet out, feet in. Just a little bounce, a little breathing. Where did you cramp up when you did those? Chest or back? Um. That's it for the world. Um, you can grab a drink super quick. We'll talk in like 30 seconds. I honestly can't remember where exactly. Where was the cramping going on? I feel like I was grabbing somewhere in my leg. I would space. try and do it. But I was in the front, probably. Yeah. Maybe your hammy, but probably your hip Probably the hip flexors, which I have like decent mobility, but just that, that twist. I have, twist motion. I have decent mobility, in case you were wondering. A little humble brag there. All right, you got about 30 more seconds. Again, you can either grab a weight, a dumbbell, or a kettlebell. And then we're going to start about talk about the strength portions. We're going to have about a 12-minute strength portion coming up. Quick break, and then we'll transition into a longer conditioning piece. It's Christmas week. Christmas is Friday. Christmas is coming. This year is almost unbelievably over. <clears throat> Do a favorite Christmas movie? Um, you know, I was raised Jehovah's Witness. Okay. And they don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, among yeah. many things. And so, like, I never got into Christmas movies as an adult. Um, but interesting enough, I do kind of have a favorite holiday movie that you might like. Okay. You want to guess what it is? I know it's like. Movie's actually called Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. Love it. Love it. It's a good movie. So, uh, not a Christmas movie, but a holiday movie, though. Yeah, fair. What's yours? Mm. <sighs> I think my favorite Christmas movie, it's like kind of a B movie. I used to watch all the movies as a kid. It's called All of the Other Reindeer. Okay. Um, I really like dogs. Um, it's about this dog named Olive, and he was listening to the radio, and Santa needed more reindeer because he called all of the other reindeer. Uh -huh. The dog named Olive thought Santa wanted him to be a reindeer, so they tried to make him be a reindeer. Oh, that's it's actually absolutely adorable. adorable. That's super charming. Okay. Anything but elf. That's what I'll watch for all day All right, let's talk about some strength here. We're going to be on a 30 second clock, so we're going to switch movements every 30 seconds. For the first minute, for the first two 30 second chunks, we're going to be on one side of the arm, one side of the body, and then the other side of the body. So um, let's go ahead and we'll have Coach Cole get us started here. We're going to start with a strict press. So he's going to have the dumbbell or the weight in his front rack position. He's going to focus on sweeping his quads, his glutes, nice tight core, solid foundation. Then he's going to press up overhead, thinking about keeping that thumb facing back behind him. Three strict presses, once he gets done with that last strict press, weight stays locked out overhead, and take a nice big step back, and we're gonna do a reverse lunge, driving through the heel, he's gonna switch legs, and then we're gonna keep doing those overhead lunges until the 30 seconds is up. Great, you had to relax, thank you. So we'll keep going until the 30 seconds is up, until we tell you to switch, you're gonna switch to the other side, you got the three strict presses, once you get that third strict press up, keeping it locked out overhead, and then doing those overhead reverse lunges for the rest of the 30 seconds. Once we're done with that work, we're then going to go into a side plank. So you're going to see Coach Cole is going to go into a side plank. You can do it with either a straight arm or on your elbow. He's going to do it with a straight arm. His heels are stacked together, and then his arms up to the side. His hips aren't sagging. What do sagging hips look like, Coach? So those are sagging hips. He's going to pull, pull, those, pull those hips up in a nice straight line. Um, if you're having a hard time balancing both feet together, you can put one in front of the other. Um, that'll help a little bit for balance, but uh, otherwise you're going to just try to keep them stacked together. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Go ahead and relax. Thank you. And then we're going to have 30 seconds of rest, and then we're going to start back over. So 30 seconds with the press and lunge on one side, 30 seconds with the press and lunge on the other side. Now we're going to do a side plank on your opposite side. So you're going to hold 30 seconds on one side plank, and then when you get to the next round, you're going to switch which side you're on for that side plank, and we'll remind you of all of this. Um, and then we're going to do that for 12 minutes. So this is your last chance. You got about uh, 40 seconds or so until we get started with the strict pressing and then overhead lunges. All right, 30 seconds, and then we're going in. <clears throat> so again, super important. I want you to really try to think about today when you are doing those strict pressing, not ignoring the lower part of your body, but creating that nice strong foundation, squeezing your quads, squeezing your glutes, nice tight core, and then from there, pressing overhead. We're going in, just about five seconds. <clears throat> Three, two, 
One. Here we go. We're back to press. And then a big step back. So when we're doing these, when we're doing these overhead reverse lunges, you're trying to take a big step back so that you're able to have a vertical shin when the back knee touches the ground. When you have that, you're able to drive through the heel of the foot to stand up, and then we'll go ahead and switch legs, stepping far enough back for that vertical shin. We're switching sides in three, two, one. Great, let's switch sides. Starting with that trip press. And then those reverse lunges. Nice big step back, and then switching. Nice big step back, that back knee lightly touches the ground, if you're able to. 10 seconds, and then we're going into that side plank for a full 30 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go, side plank. Just one side, right? Just one side. side. Six rounds total. You got just about 10 seconds until we're going back into it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Um, in regards to yoga, I have the utmost respect for people who like hot yoga. Love. Hot I yoga. think I think you guys are all warriors because there is. I am miserable during hot yoga. I think it's so hard. I am so hot and overheated. I think anyone who like has the mental fortitude to sit through an hour like that, better than I am. Switching in five, three, two, one. Switch. I rather like really cold yoga. Like if someone ran a yoga class in Central Park, I live in New York. Like the winter, because like bring your winter clothes, I'd be so about it. That sounds miserable. That's yes, <laughs> that sounds how sounds like I just like have no mobility, but I'd be so cold. 
All right. Side plank. Back to that original side. I'm going to be dressed warm. So if you did like a functional fitness workout and it's yeah. hot as heck in there, you probably wouldn't even think twice though. What? Like if you were doing a normal workout. 10 seconds. In where? The yoga room? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's say you go to like Las Vegas and you're in one of the warehouses there. Right. And I would be really hot. Would you be just as miserable? Is it the fact that you're holding these static positions? No, but like, see, yeah, I think it's different because if I'm doing like fitness and a workout, then I'm already getting so hot and sweaty that like, what does it matter if I'm more sweaty? Right. Just like yoga, all I can do is think about the sweat. And I just don't like that feeling. 10 seconds. I love yoga. Yoga's awesome. It's great. You keep doing it. Don't let me tell you not to do it, but it's a hot yoga. So turn the AC down if you're going to do it. <laughs> Three, two, two, with me. One. I'm alternating the sides that I start on here with these quick press. You don't have to. Just keep myself nice and balanced. Something to think about. I did do yoga with goats once. That was really fun. Is that what it is? It, it, it's just a farm with hundreds of goats, and you go and do yoga with them, and they just. What do the goats do while you're doing yoga? 10 seconds. I mean, they're very friendly, so they'll come up to you and like knock you over, you can pet them. Um, three, two, one. Well, that's something different. It was different. It was not cheap. I <laughs> Where was this at? This was, I don't know if anybody knows where Martha's Vineyard is, but it's an island off the Cape Cod. Super bougie man, it's fully place you expect to go yoga to be, but how can I say no to that? Sense. I mean, it's an experience for sure. Like, I love working out here. Three, two, on YouTube, come on, guys, but if there are goats here, I'd be even more happy right now. Yeah. Well, there's a Brooklyn. There's a Brooklyn. That's not nothing. She's not nothing. We are on plank number four right now. We're going to about finish the fourth round and get two more to go. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest. Um, you can probably hear Todd and I are talking about goats. Um, we are talking uh, because we're doing a string right now. I don't need us to move at like 100% as fast as we can go. Somewhere where you can talk and read at the same time. It's a good pace for now. We'll do a nice little workout in a few minutes, in which I will not be have the breath to talk about goats during. But 10 seconds. Round five. Three, two, and back to our lunches. Halfway, 15. Ten seconds, then we switch. Three, two, and other arm. Hanging on, moving and grooving. Number five, four, three, two, and one. Good. 90 more seconds. Keep on moving. Get some more lunges in. Take a little bit of rest in between. Take a break, talk about what that conditioning is. But first, three, two, 
on here. Here we go. Last time. Bro. Fifteen halfway. Switch it in five. Three, two, one, other side. piece that's going to be coming up. Uh, Coach Cool is going to walk us through it, the format, and then the different movements. Uh, just another reminder though, this is our 40 minute one weight workout, either a dumbbell or a kettlebell, but we also have 20 minute body weight workouts on the channel, and then 10 minutes abs, abs, abs workout. Always a favorite. Are you ready? I, yeah. You want to talk about it? All right. Um, I'm going to talk about the format, and then I'm going to have this hot demo of uh, these four movements for us. We have four movements coming. Um, we're gonna do this interval style. So, the first round, we're gonna hit back to back, 60 seconds in movement one, 60 seconds in movement two, 60 seconds in movement three, 60 seconds in movement four. That's all back to back. So we're gonna get 60 seconds of rest after you finish all four. Cool, that's our longest round. And then gonna climb down that ladder in time. We're gonna get a 50 second round. We're gonna get a couple 40 second rounds a couple 30 second rounds. So ideally that work uh, to rest ratio is about the same throughout the entire workout, but we're moving down the time that we're actually working. So we're going to go a little bit faster if not holding on to the same pace we set for the first round. All right. First movement of four is going to be a little combo. We're going to hit three single arm swings and one thruster. Todd's going to demo for us here. He's going to grab his kettlebell or his dumbbell with one arm. We're going to do one, two, Three eye level swings, and he'll get a clean up into this front rack. He's going to get a full squat and a punch overhead. All right, then you're going to switch arms. One, two, three swings. He's going to get a clean, a squat, and a punch overhead. Oh, that's funny. All right, three swings, one thruster, 60 seconds. The next 60 second window is the reverse sit up. So Todd's on the floor, he's lying on his back. We're going to use our weight as a counterbalance today. Again, we're not really hanging on to the weight. It's just there to help you out. So we're going to punch it up overhead. You can hold the kettlebell by the bell. I'm going to hold the dumbbell by the heads of the dumbbell. He's going to extend his feet all the way out in front of him. His heels are not on the floor. He's going to squeeze his knees all the way to his chest. They did, and he's going to punch his feet right back out. Notice how his heels are staying off the floor. The goal is to have your heels off the floor for that whole 60 seconds to keep that core engaged. Cool. Good. Perfect. Next movement, movement three, are some toe taps. All you need is a target for your feet. I was gonna use a kettlebell, I'm gonna use a dumbbell, you can use a pillow, you can use whatever you have around, all right? Uh, normal toe taps, your left, oh, it's so funny. Oh, no. it's so funny. Uh, the pillow, I just, it, it's I the 
same height. I agree. Right. Yeah, I just loved it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so normal toe taps. He's going to tap his left foot, he's going to tap his right foot, and he's going to do that a little bit faster. The goal is to start bouncing and moving nice and quick. For today's toe taps, our rhythm is going to be left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Cool? So left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. So one tap of each twice, and then two taps of each twice. Cool? If that checks up your mind, um, the goal today is to get a little bit of confusion. So if you get freaked out or you trip up, that's okay. Take a breath. Try it again. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. I'll throw that up on the screen. Um, that's for your toe taps. Last and certainly not least, Todd's gonna hit the floor all the way. He's gonna stand back up by hopping or stepping. He's gonna hop overhead. If you have burpees to finish off, classic burpee, not going over anything today, just up and down. Cool. I love normal burpees. So, three swings in the thruster, reverse sit ups, toe taps, and burpees. First round, a minute each. We got 30 seconds. And we get today. Got about 23 seconds to grab that pillow if you need it. I don't know why that was funny. I just envisioned, uh, I just envisioned a pillow being very like soft and you would sink down into it. Yeah. And then I realized, but if you had like nice firm pillows on your couch, you like a cushion, you yeah. know, better work. All right. So that's kind of where I was like, his pillows must be different than my pillows. Three, three two, one, three single arm swings and a thruster. So I want you to notice when you're doing these swings with a dumbbell, or with the kettlebell, the height that you're going to come to for the single arm swing is just about eye level, and your arm is uh, roughly extended all the way. It's probably not going to be locked out with a little bit of soft bend in the elbow. But when you're going to do that clean, you're not going to bring it all the way out here and then expect it to come to your front rack. Instead, on that foot swing, you're going to now keep it close, 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 so that you can transition into that front rack position. So just know the three swings that you're doing for the single arm swings is going to come out way further than the swing that you're going to do when you're going to do it quickly. 15 seconds. I'll fix it during the rest of the break. That's it. Right, we got it. We're switching to reverse setups in three, two, one. Here we go. Off the floor, we go overhead, keep those heels off. Pulling in the chest, punching right back down. If anybody has an unreasonably heavy weight today, you can do normal sit-ups, but most of us should have a relatively light weight. It's just there to counterbalance, actually helping you out a little bit. Take a nice little pace here, don't forget to breathe. All right, we're halfway in, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Twenty more seconds. Try to keep moving. Try to keep moving. Keep your heels off the ground for a full minute. It's challenging. Yes, it is. You got ten more seconds, and then we're gonna switch to those toe taps. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Toe yeah, taps. the rhythm looking for left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right. Not to the start. A little bit of thinking. If you have any X or current tap dancers here, I'm sure you guys will be very good at this. I'm going to jump up a couple times as I try and focus on my wedding right. jumps. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Keep on bouncing. Normal burp is coming up. Four, three, two, down and up. Here we go. So for these burpees, what are we looking for? Chest gets to the ground. Two feet to jump. Swap clap overhead. Chest to the ground. Clap overhead. 
Continuous movement is ideal. So banging out five and then taking a long rest is not. So if you need to, as you're doing these burpees, take a step back, hands down, chest down, take a step up, and then jump and clap. I'm okay with that today. Just trying to get you moving for these full 60 seconds. 25 left. After this, we got a minute of rest. And then we have 50 second round. Instead of the 60 second rounds we're in right now. Hang on for five, four, three, two, and time. All right. That's our longest round. About 60 seconds off. That's our longest round. Next round is coming up. Is going to be a 50 second round. Going back to those swings and those thrusters though. We got just about 30 seconds or so until we head back in. Perfect. Those are our longest rounds, gonna each. 50 each coming up. So 20 seconds, three swings, one thruster. Three swings, and then one thruster. 10 seconds. Doesn't matter which arm we start with. Custom switching. Four, three, two, here we are. Three swings. One thruster. And then switch to sides. So we did a lot of strict pressing in the first round, in that strength portion. So all the more, when you're doing these thrusters, once you go down, try to be explosive coming up to help move that kettlebell and requiring less upper body strength to press it. 10 seconds. Hang on. One more breath. Four, three, two. Bottom of the floor. Knees to the chest. Reverse sit ups are one of my all time favorite core movements. When you're extending your legs, Squeeze your quads. So you get a nice lock that leg. Keep those toes pointed away from you. Less than 30 seconds. Speed with this movement is not the most important part. Try to really make sure his legs get all the way locked out. Not giving you a half knee bend. And the closer those knees come to the chest, the more of your core you're working. Switch it in five, four, three, Two, same nice rhythm. So let's be hopping.
Ten seconds. One more. Four, three, two, and rest. And breathe it out. Okay, let's uh, do the 40s on one side each. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, so now that we get these shorter rounds coming up, we're moving into the 40 second rounds instead of these longer ones. We have two 40 second rounds coming up. And what we're gonna do for this first movement is instead of switching sides, we're gonna stay all on one side. So we're gonna pick the left, most challenging for me, it's probably the most challenging for a lot of you if you're right-handed. So that means we're going to stay on the right side for 40 seconds, doing three swings, one thruster. Three swings, one thruster. Two, one, here we go, left side. Three swings, oh. or whichever side. Three times the side. One thruster. Good. Same side. Swings, thruster. Good. Halfway. Ten seconds. Keep this arm going. Don't let go. Ten seconds. Yep. Switching in three, two, one. Switch sides. On the floor. On the floor, right? Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're sitting up. You're right. We'll switch side. Again, I'm going to get a nice big full squeeze in and big extension out and a rush in this movement. Take a pace, you got 15 seconds left. Keep that dumbbell up. One of the reasons I need to go slow is because if I don't pay attention and I fully extend my legs, I get this arch in my back, which I don't want. So I really have to pay attention to prevent that from happening. Let's go do our toe taps. 40 seconds, here we go. <coughs> Hopefully we got this rhythm down a little bit better by now. See if we can speed it up just a bit. Halfway. Squeeze your back to like youth soccer days. Absolutely. I did not like playing soccer. This is funny because I probably would now. This is not too bad. I think I was bad at it. Oh, I don't think I'm bad at Five seconds. Most out. Three, two, and we're all 30 seconds to go. And then you got 40 seconds of rest. And then we got one more 40 second round. We're getting there today. For sure. Definitely getting there. Halfway. Hang on for 10. Get all the pace up and down. Five, four, three, two, and good. Keep it down. All right. Remember, opposite arm and swings and thrusters coming up. So we got I use my right, you use my left. Got about 20 seconds till we're back in it. I use my left, so I'm gonna use my right. Hopefully you remembered which one you picked. Hey, lay down please. And working out as an octopus. Lay down. So confusing. Lay down. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Press. If we're starting to get a little bit tired here, especially in those swings, Sean's using his other arm to come up and meet that kettlebell. He's doing so to keep his chest from really twisting over too far as he swings over because we're weighted on one side. So we want to keep our chest uh, as neutral as it can be, not super twisted to the left or the right. Five more seconds. Reverse.
first set up in three, two, on the floor. Again, when my legs are extended, keeping my lower back flat on the ground. And if I don't make a really conscious effort to make that happen, then I'm getting this arch, which I don't want. So try to move with purpose, not just to move. 14 seconds. Four, three, two, up and tap. It's our last 40 second round. Left, right, left, right. Left, left, right. switch on the last round. So, I'm going back to my left, Coach Cole's going back to his right, you're going to go back to wherever you started, and we're back in in three, two, one, here we go. It's only 30 now. Pick some nice steady movement, try not to let go of anything here. Last time on this side. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and on the floor. Nice quick transitions, please. <clears throat> oh, a lot of time waste here at the end. Halfway. Switching in five, three, two, one, here we go. Up and tap. Coming up, so only 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and now. 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, and then our last round's coming up. Keep that foot down, we move another eight. Hang on in. Four, three, two, and good. Hurry up. Uno mas. All right. Two more minutes of work, and you're gonna have me in.
15 seconds. Last arm coming up. Last time to reach. Fourth day. If you're with me, I'm going to my right. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last time through. Halfway. Four, three, two, right to the floor. Here we go, last time, reverse sit-ups. Quick two then, smooth through that. Oh gosh. What is this brand? Halfway. and then 10 minute abs, abs, abs workouts. So when you subscribe, you get notifications when we upload a new workout, which is about three or four weeks right now. So with that being said, hope that your week goes well. I'm Coach Saad. I'm Coach Cole. This is Brooklyn. We'll see you next time. Take care. Oh my God, you're such a good girl. Such a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, fine. Almost, it was almost cool to start.